This video goes through the process of taking a TGZ file that might have been provided um, with some additional web work problems. Maybe they were uh, given to you by a colleague and shows you how to import them into your web work so that you can use them. Um, there's really two stages to the process. First of all, there's just getting this um, set of problems you're given so that they can show up in the library browser. Um, and you don't then necessarily have to use any of the questions inside a homework set if you don't want to. And then the next stage would then be just like with any other homework set, um, taking those problems that you see in the library browser and then putting them into a homework set. The uh, there is uh, it's worth perhaps seeing that second half of the library browser part because um, where you find the problems will be just a little different. So first of all, uh, after signing into your web work course, you're going to want to go to the file manager area. What you have available amongst your files may look a little different from mine. And just as far as best practice goes, well, mine's actually really messy here, but I'm going to uh, double click on local, double click, there we go. Um, and then in here, you can you know, create a subfolder if you want. Uh, you just need to keep track of where inside subfolder you are. So I might, let's say, create a new folder here that says, because I'm going to delete this later um, when I'm done with this video, but I'll just, so I'll just remind myself that. Delete me. But these are a bunch of mixture problems that I wrote um, and sent out to some colleagues. Now I'm just pretending I'm one on the receiving end, um, so I'll just maybe do delete me mixture problems. I don't know, something like that. Uh, yeah, so that will be the name of my new folder. You can also create folders inside folders. You just need to truly keep track of where you are. So where I am is in my math150-kim uh, within templates, which is sort of, sort of the basic starting subfolder to be in. Within the templates folder, there was already a pre-existing local folder. And in the, as a subfolder of local, I created this new folder called delete me mixture problems. So I, I'm going to drop... Um, the files in here, or rather, one. I'm going to upload one file. I, now I just need to go find it in the computer, wherever it is. I think I may have put mine um, again. This now you got to just go find the the attachment that you probably got by email, wherever you put it. I just need to find where I put mine. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'll use the latest version. So there's this TGZ. This is like a zip file. It's just a file that contains a bunch of other files in it. So I click. Anyway, that's the file that I had once exported. So it's down here. The file name is listed down here. It hasn't uploaded yet. The one thing to do next, it's a little clunky, is click this upload button. Um, and since the unpack files archives, that this TGZ is a type of archive, since it was an archive and this check was here to unpack automatically, that's a good thing. Um, it uploaded that file, unpacked it into 20 separate files, as you see down here, and then it deleted that TGZ file because, yeah, I just uploaded it here. So it probably just appeared momentarily and I couldn't even see it. I don't really need that TGZ file anymore. It really exploded to become these 25 separate files. So there's these 17 um, pure mixture problems, I guess, and then these three warm-up questions. So cool. There's all of these now 20 separate web work problems. Um, each of these web work problems ends in a .pg, and I'm done in the file manager area just so long as I remember that these files, where these PG files live, or these 20 separate homework questions live currently as um, in the delete me mixture problems subfolder of the local folder. Now they're not, they, they're homework problems that I now have access to um, in my web work area, but they're not part of any specific homework set yet. So now I need to go to the library browser and then I'm going to create a new homework set, um, I guess, so that I have a reminder later as well that I want to delete this homework set. I'm going to call this this uh, delete me um, uh, new homework set using mixture. I don't know. That's long enough. I, whatever. You name the homework set whatever you want. Uh, and I'll click the button here to create that homework set. Now that's been the uh, target set. So we're going to add problems to this homework set. So this is kind of all as usual. Um, that doesn't look any different. Now the key difference from adding problems. In, so in this library browser area, you might have been familiar with adding problems from the open problem library. I know that's where I usually get all my problems. I don't write most of my problems. But these are now local problems. You're not going to find them here. So you got to click local problems and then 
uh, mix page loads. And then this list is a bit much. I think it's an alphabetical roughly somehow, but I'm scrolling, scrolling, and uh, looking for a local, uh, yeah, here it was. It was called local slash delete me mixture problems. That's where we uh, put these 20 new problems. I'll click view problems. Uh, currently by default, a maximum of 20 problems will show, but these are all of the problems. Um, it looks like my standard problems came first and the warm-ups came last. So just in terms of what order I have these problems in this homework set, again, you got to work out how many problems you have in a homework set or whatever. Um, maybe you break it up into several days, but I'll just, just for the sake of whatever, say right now, I'll add that first warm-up question. Now it's in the target set, add the second one, add the third one. And then amongst these other questions, um, I'm going to select, I don't know, the first question and the third question and then the... Well, I didn't even count was at the seventh question and the twelfth question or something like that and then I could of course create another homework set that uses some of the other problems I, I like to do something like that so that they have kind of multiple days to think about the same thing anyway that homework set is now created so if I click over the homework sets area and I find what was that called delete me new homework set using mixture that homework set is there and I guess I added a total of seven problems here is Problem number one, there was, this was that warm-up question. Here's what it looks like. Of course, since I'm signed, as a, signed in as instructor, I could show the correct solution right here if you know 12 total liters of liquid and half of it. This first problem is hard-coded with a 50% there, so I know that that should be a 6. I just wrote in a 12 over 2. The next one, um, I've programmed it to use the same number 12 here, but the percentage is some other percentage that's in, intentionally randomized. So I'll do a 0.35 times 12. And then this last one actually flips this on its side where 66, I just picked a new number. I could have used the same 12 here, but I had the computer pick uh, an intentionally new number, but use the same percentage. Now um, this, I'm trying not to overdo the thinking here, but this should be 66 divided by 0.35, I believe. So there we go. I answered all three of those questions correctly. Um, just to, I guess, prove to you that this was programmed correctly. If I did 12 divided by 2.1, it will not take an incorrect answer. And I will stop the video.